YouTube user Stains Be Flowing presents Aussie Flying Ice. Yeah, now how you going? So, I was on the internet again, read about this terrible story out of the USA, out of uh, the state of Louisiana, in fact, to be, to be exact. Now, apparently what's happened is an eight-year-old has uh, shot his caregiver, which is an elderly woman, and also his grandma, 90 years old, apparently got her right in the, in the head, that's no good. Now, uh, you know, I don't want to make jokes about a serious situation, I mean, it's very sad, you know, someone's died and all that, but apparently... They're blaming Grand Theft Auto 4. I mean, now you've all probably heard of Grand Theft Auto or grown up playing it. I know some of us have. And, uh, you know, now all, you know, those people are going to say, well, it didn't affect me. You know, it didn't make me kill me grandma. So, look, there's other people going, well, these things are murder simulators. You know, they're basically tactical assault games, you know. And, uh, look, I mean, obviously they're simulations, but, you know, I mean, the thing is, I mean, the, the, there is arguments and there's evidence showing that, you know, the simulations affect the, the real life aspect, like, you know, uh, for example, did you know that Doom came out in 1993? If you have a look at a graph, you see the crime, then it hits 93 and then it starts to go down. So, I mean, maybe we just need to get more people playing Doom or something. Maybe that's what it is. So, uh, you know, I mean, I saw that on uh, Penn and Teller, that's right, you know, where he trashes everything. It's a good show, not too bad. I believe it's called Bullshit. Now, I thought, Instead of, like, you know, banning these games, what we need to do is we need to make these games more realistic. This is how you fix the problem, right? Now, if you're playing Grand Theft Auto and you murder someone in the game, well, what should happen in the game is that when you get arrested, you don't just respawn outside the day, you know, you've got to go to court and you've got to apply for bail, and if you get bail, you then got to go, you know, and if you commit more crime, you get in more trouble, then you've got to go to court, and you've got to go through every day at court in the real time in the game, and uh, then if you're convicted, you know, you've got to go to jail and you spend 40-something years in jail, you know, in the game. That's what, that's how you fix, the, you know, make the lesson in the game. The game is not realistic enough. That's maybe what the problem is. So I thought that might be a way of, you know, fixing the problem. What do you think? Hey, let me know in the comments if you've got a better idea yourself. Now, today's random fact. This is an interesting one. August 27th. Now, the Anglo-Zanzibar War. Look at that. I didn't write down the year. That's terrible. I was going to put a link in because you're probably not going to believe this one. So you can check the year yourself. But on this day, the Anglo-Zanzibar War happened. Now, this is the shortest war in world history. Guess how long it lasted? 45 minutes. Oh, yeah, that? That's a quick victory. It was the British. British, yeah, Britannia rule on the seas again, eh? Good stuff. So, uh, look, I'll post a link for that. And thank you very much for watching. And uh, see you all around like a rissole. If you like and subscribe, I'll make better videos.